Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and if you find this video interesting, hit the like button. So let's start today's video. In this video, I shall tell you how to lose weight after pregnancy. A healthy diet combined with regular exercise is the best way to shed the pounds. Exercise will help you lose fat instead of muscle. Once you are ready to start losing weight, eat a little less and move a little more each day. It may be tempting to push yourself into a hard routine for fast weight loss. Here are a few tips to help lose baby weight. Number 1. Keep your goals realistic. Despite what magazines and celebrity stories would have you believe, losing weight after pregnancy takes time. It depends on how much weight you gained during pregnancy. It is realistic to accept that over the next one to two years, you could lose around 10 pounds. If you gained more weight, you may find you end up a few pounds heavier than you were pre-pregnancy. Of course, with a good eating plan and exercise, you should be able to achieve any healthy level of weight loss that your doctor gives the thumbs up. Number 2. Don't crash diet. Crash diets are very low calorie diets that aim to make you lose a large amount of weight in the shortest amount of time possible. After delivering a baby, your body needs good nutrition to heal and recover. In addition, if you are breastfeeding, you require more calories than normal. A low calorie diet is likely to be lacking in important nutrition and will probably leave you feeling tired. This is opposite of what you need when taking care of a newborn baby and when you are likely sleep deprived. So eat the food full of nutrients but less in calorie. Number 3. Breastfeed if you can. The World Health Organization trusted source, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the CDC all recommend breastfeeding. Breastfeeding your baby during the first six months of life or much longer has many benefits for both you and your baby. Additionally, research has shown that breastfeeding can support your postpartum weight loss. However, in the first three months of breastfeeding, you may experience no weight loss or even some weight gain. This is due to increased calorie needs and intake as well as reduced physical activity during lactation period. Number 4. Monitor your calorie intake. We know calorie counting is not for everyone, but if you are finding that eating intuitively just to, doesn't seem to be working, monitoring calories can help you work out how much you are eating and where are any problem areas in your eating plan maybe. It can also help you ensure you are getting enough calories to provide you with the energy and nutrition you need. You can do this by keeping a food diary, taking pictures of your food as a reminder of what you have eaten, trying a mobile calorie tracking app, sharing your daily calorie intake with a friend who is also monitoring calories for accountability. Using these techniques can help you reduce your portion sizes and choose healthier foods, which helps with weight loss. Number 5. Eat foods high in fiber. It's time to get those healthy grains and veggies on your shopping list. Eating foods that are high in fiber has been shown to help with weight loss. Soluble fiber food is found in oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley, like these, may also help you feel fuller for longer by slowing down digestion and reducing hunger hormone levels, according to a 2015 clinical trial. Number 6. Stock up on healthy proteins. Including protein in your diet can boost metabolism, decrease appetite, and reduce calorie intake. According to research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, studies show that protein has a greater turmeric effect than other nutrients. That means that the body uses more energy to digest it than other types of food which results in more calorie burn. 
Healthy protein sources include lean meats, eggs, low mercury fish, nuts and seeds, and dairy products. Number 7. Keep healthy snacks handy. The foods you have around can have a big effect on what you eat. And when you are searching the pantry for something to munch, a healthy alternative is just the ticket. By stocking up on healthy snacks, you can ensure you have something close at hand when the mood strikes. Here are some to keep on hand. Cut vegetables and hummus, mixed nuts and dried fruits, Greek yogurt and homemade granola, air popped popcorn, string cheese, spiced nuts, seaweed snacks. Research shows that just keeping fruits on the counter has been associated with the lower body mass index. Likewise, a comparative study showed that having unhealthy foods out on the counter is associated with increased weight. Keep processed foods and sweets out of the kitchen or even better, out of the house. Number 8. Drink enough water. Drinking enough water is vital for everyone trying to lose weight. The CDC trusted source points out that choosing water over sweetened beverage can save you 240 calories. A common recommendation from health authorities is to drink 8 glasses which amounts to half a gallon or about 2 liters per day. Number 9. Sleep. A lack of sleep can negatively affect your weight. One research review showed that a lack of sleep is related to retaining more weight after pregnancy. This association may also be true for adults in general. A review of 11 studies found a significant correlation between short amount of sleep and obesity. Number 10. Avoid highly processed foods. Processed foods are often high in sugar, unhealthy fats, salts and calories, all of which can counteract your weight loss efforts. You can reduce the amount of processed foods you eat by replacing them with fresh, whole, nutrient foods. That's all from my side. Let me know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.